What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to the Relegation League, which I am using as a warm-up recording until because <laughs> I haven't recorded in about a week now. The hurricane has passed, so this is the first thing I'm recording afterwards. And uh I'm fine. Like we're fine here, but I need the bulk up recordings because there might be more coming. Anyways, so I took care of a lot with the recruiting board. In between, obviously, we jump forward a bit. You can see just by the star ratings that my plan to only go after three stars is not happening at the moment, but I'll explain. So we did sign a three star. Uh, I insta committed him. I didn't realize that was the thing. I mean, you know me, I added people to the board, offer him scholarships. So I don't know any of his stuff. I didn't scout him. I just offered him a scholarship and he said, sure. So now we got a backup quarterback. Uh, as far as the top of the board here, so Redick, four star defensive end, it looks like South Carolina may catch us, but I bumped it up. I was only off from 50. Now I'm at the full 65. So we should be okay for right now. We're actually cruising up his board. We were on there to begin with. Uh, we got Amaro, who is a gem left outside linebacker. Navy and Pitt look like they might be competing down there. But again, we're already in the top three. Cruising up the board there. That's the upside. Again, there were three bye weeks. Um, I can't offer him more points, but I'm just doing this for right now. I'm not even bothering with visits. I was trying to scout people just so I know what I'm getting my hands on. Uh, we've got a gem four-star tight end here who I'm going after. He is a blocker. Not what I usually want to go with. I don't even see the speed on here. But we will probably need a couple. Again, like North Texas, we got Wilkerson and Cherry. So we got our vertical throw. We got our uh, regular blocker. So having him will be something that I want to do anyways. Wide receiver, there is a five-star wide receiver who jumped up to the top of his board. 6'3", 205. He's not a gem. Uh, I don't think he's anywhere close to what Kirk Angle was. But 82 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 82 route, 92 excel, 98 jumping, 96 speed. Like, uh, he's not going to be running down a field necessarily. He could probably get some go balls for us. But for the most part, I think it'll just be a very good, like... Well, he's a physical receiver. We're jumping up to the top of his board. We're still only just entering the top eight. So it will still probably be a battle. But I would like to. There were a couple other five-star wide receivers I had on here. But what I was doing, if I felt like I was struggling, I took him off. And I almost took Missouri off of here too. And now I feel like some of those other guys, maybe I should have left them on the board because maybe it would have jumped up. But A-plus playing style. Like, that's the thing with all these guys. Whatever their deal breaker is, I'm not messing around with anything lower. Unless it's something like, we got a B plus here on this right tackle. He's a bust, but I need bodies. So bust, he's going to be normal development. Okay. I don't care. My offensive line is terrible. This guy is an A. He's not a gem. But that's center. That's right tackle. Again, we need bodies. Uh, this guy is... I haven't even scouted him yet. Four-star cornerback for Malden and four-star for Middlebrooks. We took a massive jump up Middlebrook's board. Malden, it, it it might be too late. I'm not sure. I, it depends on how bad Clemson goes after him. There's a chance we could go after him. But corners, I mean, we had to convert people just to even have enough on the roster. So I'm not even going to bother scouting them just yet. I need to throw points at people. But we're only going after eight people at the moment. Now we got some three stars down here. They've all been offered scholarships. For the most part, we're right on top, or at least like we're number two. And I'm hoping if we just sort of leave it alone and spend our points going after higher end prospects, we can circle back around to them later. I'm not going to go too crazy on four stars. Just if I can get my hands on, what, there's eight people that I'm going after right now that are four and five. If we sign five of them, that'd be great. If we sign all of them, like we're golden. I was trying to go after a five-star quarterback, but we fell off his board. Well, we didn't fall off, but... Oh, no, he's only a four-star. Sierra here. Uh, but we couldn't compete with what Syracuse, Buffalo, and Rutgers were offering him, so... Didn't, uh, didn't bother, honestly. Same thing. See, his right tackle. Look at how far ahead Georgia is, and then Georgia Tech's right there. We're so far down. Like, yeah, he would have been a great get, but I'm not going to waste my time. Although he is a gem. That's the other reason why we can't go after him. I was playing with red shirts a little bit. Um, so like Wilbur here has a red shirt, which I think he had before. 
I don't have, I didn't redshirt Bradbury. I originally did, but what I just ended up moving him up to number five or number uh, three. So McCollum's the number one. I usually forget the number one receiver, so that's okay. Moss will be number two. He doesn't have much for development, but maybe he gets a couple more points. Hudson would be number three, but I bumped him down to number four. Knight is number five, but then Bradbury went up. He's a 69 overall, but again, he's got that elite development trait. The ratings, except for his hands, his power can't be maxed out, his quickness can't be maxed out. But he's got so much room to grow, I'd rather just throw the ball at him. Because, again, like, in a normal dynasty, I would probably redshirt him and have that extra year. But uh, we've only got five years with James Madison anyways. And as much as I want the team to be good after I'm done, because presumably I could get a few teams in here and just move it forward and hopefully have like a bunch of good teams floating around. Um, I, I, no, like I need Bradbury now. So I'd rather go ahead, throw the ball at him and maybe get a huge jump and he'll help us immediately, like next season. So I'm not going to bother red shirting them if I feel like I don't have to. Someone like Sylvester, I'll give a red shirt because he's our number three tight end. We can get away with it. And that'll keep him around for one more season, get a little bit of bump. But he's not going to see the field really at all, so there's no point wasting time. But for the most part, the other one is Bouchong here. He's a 72 overall, but I'm starting him at its center. 75 speed and 72 excel. It's really quick, no agility whatsoever. No change of direction. He's not very strong. Clearly this guy used to be a tight end, or something like that. But pass block 84... The uh, power is only 73, the footwork is 76, run blocking 80, power 79, 78 for that, 99 lead block, 80 impact blocking. Uh, the overall isn't that great, but I'm going to give him a shot to play center because it just seems like he'll be good on the field. And hopefully it's only one year experiment because I think he's pretty much capped out. Centers, I just redshirted these two because I think they got the better development. These guys, it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, right guard again, Abbott. I kicked it around like, should I just start one of these guys for a season? But no, there's no point in redshirting. Especially if he's going to be a better overall player. D-tackle, same thing. I'm going to start... Uh, ba Banowitz? I'm going to say Banowitz. I'll start him as an, at least the number two D-tackle. Because we're only losing two points of overall. He's a run stopper, which will help us out. I mean, dude, 6-6 and 339. So hopefully he can help with that, get some development, shoot him up. Magnifico, uh, I'm not willing to start these two right now. I feel like I'd rather have this. I'm not going to sacrifice 10 points of overall. Just put him. So he'll sit on a red shirt for a year. And then Amenahu, middle linebacker, 6-7 overall. It was almost worth starting, but we got Mobley, who's also a freshman. So I, I'll, I'll take the red shirt this year on that. I still can't believe... Was it Henley? Who got the huge jump in the offseason. One of these two went from like a 54. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, our cornerback. We got a senior, a senior, a redshirted junior, a senior, and a redshirted junior. Like, these guys are not going to be here for the long haul. So, going after two four-star cornerbacks, it don't matter what their development, what their overall is. I don't care if they're a gem, if they're a bust. They can go ahead and they'll probably be starting for us next year. Unless I can move a free safety around. Like Callaway, maybe I move him to the cornerback next year. Because Silatolu will be starting. Because again, elite development. Yeah, he's going to get the start. Uh, Spears will get a red shirt for this year though. Because I do have Flo, who's got impact. So I can let Spears sort of ride it out. And then we can move him around. 6'3", 221, 5'10", 165. See, like, Spears is definitely more of a physical specimen... So I might even weigh moving him to linebacker if he's good at it. We'll open up the season with Ball State. They're still pretty bad as far as overalls go. I think Art is a little inflated, but again, like I want a tune-up game. I got a brand new quarterback. I've got a wide receiver I'm trying to develop. There's a lot sort of going on here. Again, like most of the team is pretty much brand new. So I need that I need that tune-up game. And hopefully we come out on top. But, like, now where we are, we are in the American Conference. Out-of-conference games are sort of not that important. Like, realistically, we're not going to get demoted this year. we got a protection. Our goal is just conference record. That's all we care about. So, beating Ball State, yeah, it'd be nice. But, I guess a win's a win. I, bowl eligibility will still help the program. 
but the the conference games are now important we didn't have conference games last season it was all independence now the conference games matter all right start off with a nice simple read option here and we only got two yards no i thought i could beat him but he was in perfect position kyle well he holds on fourth and one we're at the 23 uh, I th I think this stays with Roche. Roche? Let's go with Roche. Yep, stays with him. All right, we convert. Keep it moving. Yeah, in the middle of the field, wide open. There we go. Hudson picking up the first down. Oh, 64. That was terrible blocking. Yeah, maybe putting him at center was a bad idea. Put that back. There we go. Beautiful run. Picking up 11, bringing it to a third and manageable two. Oh, I tried to loft it up to Bradbury. Got hit as we threw. I'm going to go for it, though. Good snag. Is that Kyle? I don't know. No, it wasn't Kyle. Who was that? Whoever that second string tight end is. Good catch. Ooh, slipped through there. All right, Roche is doing pretty well. All right, third and inches. Can we convert this? Roche is an impact player, apparently. But he's not getting the ball in this one. Kyle? Good hands. That was Pfeiffer again. Apparently this offense is going to favor the number two tight end. That's what I'm learning here. All right. Well, we gained yards on first down, but a flag's down, and I'm going to assume it's on us. It sure is. Also, what did I miss? That Tulane is number 11 in the country. Oh, good swat by that guy. I thought we... I was trying to get Bradbury's first catch. And now we're at a third and 20. That holding call really killed this drive. Yellow ball? No. All right. So we go for it on fourth down... Two or three times in that drive, and we get no points anyways. Good punt, though. We got him pinned inside the 10-yard line. There we go. Good wrap-up. He only gets one. All right. See how Tolu wraps him up. He's scrambling outside, taken down for a sack. Runs right into Marcellus Mash. It is 4th and 12, and we're forced into a quick punt. I think the problem is, what I'm not taking into account, I've built up this team already with this first recruiting class. We've got some, like, promising young players. I've turned them into year one North Texas. And what Roche is, what a get that guy was. Kyle on the drag. He dropped it. Come on, Kyle. Drag route wide open. Good outside blocking. Roche breaks off the tackle, gets in for his touchdown for the Monarchs. We're the Monarchs, right? Okay, the Heisman pose might... Well, I mean, he's having a good game. Oh, well, whatever. Either way, we strike first. Just outed myself as not actually knowing half of the team names in this game. I genuinely, every time I put up an episode on the bottom, I always put, like, what teams... What are the Dukes? I put what team we're playing. I have to Google half of the time because I don't know. Oh, bad man coverage on that one. They just broke it open for a big play. All right, he only gets two on that option play. Good start. I feel like we should probably bring... I don't know. I feel like we brought a blitz and we got burned on it last time. I'm afraid to now. Good wrap-up, though. That was a good call on the screenplay for that one. We stop him. We're at the 30. I think it's makeable for him. Yeah. Got that inside. Beautiful run. Yeah, Roche is killing it. So glad I went aggressive in the transfer portal. I don't know if anyone else is going to work out, but we got Roche, and that's what matters. Yep. Up the sideline. In go out of bounds. Good spin. 
little bit of a block there. We're taking that up to midfield. Run, hurry up, because I feel like they're going to challenge that. They call the timeout. Or they challenge it. Okay. Oh, well, good replay. Yeah, he went out of bounds. I thought he did, but I was kind of hoping. No, I was trying to let him get out of play on that one. Oh, I had a drag route wide open, and we got hit at the last second. And we're going to have to punt it back. Ridic Look at where that ball is. That ball is almost in the end zone. Bring the heat. Boom. Oh, he got a yard there. That's okay. Keep bringing the blitz. I don't care. Ah, damn it. They got through. All right, that took him to the two-minute warning. I wonder what their play call is going to be here. Outside run. Oh my god, he got forward progress. The only reason it was not a safety. He's going to punt this one straight out of bounds, I think. We, oh my god, we almost got the, blunt, uh, the block punt. I'll take the fair catch, though. Alright, we got a minute 19. We got all three timeouts. I think they chewed clock there, but I kind of am okay with that. There is so much wind-up on that. That's why you guys were saying I have to loft those things. It's the wind-up. That's why I can't get them out. Okay. I thought it was just like an easier pass for him to catch as a loft. No. It's because I had to put so much wind-up into that thing. They let him sneak through. Oh my god, they really let him sneak through. Don't worry about getting out of bounds. Got plenty of time. That was legs all day. Get out of bounds. Mostly for the safety. Like, I don't, like, I don't really... Yeah, we're still at 59 seconds now. We're in field goal range at least. Good hands by Hudson. Picking up the first. Alright, let's try the screen pass again. No, there was still, I tapped it and there was still a wind-up. He got popped and dropped it. Like, getting a 69 overall elite development wide receiver would not be the worst thing in the world, except I desperately need a better wide receiver. 69 overall, and I'm still debating, like, whether I should have him as my number one. All right, they're taking a timeout. Okay, they see this run coming, though. Screw it. I'm taking the points. If I'd gotten a better look, I would have gone for it there. He's taken off. We didn't see that coming, apparently. Thank you! Oh my god. <laughs> Did we just... We got a pick with a D-lineman. I'm like, run it back! No, that was... No. Because of the blitz is coming. Oh my god. I thought we were about to have a thick six. I got so excited. While she's interrupting me, good scramble, taking out the first and goal. Still got two timeouts. I have everything on the table right now. That guy was blitzing. I changed direction. Roche in with his second touchdown of the day. That's going to put us up by two touchdowns. Um, I'm not super simming the last 10 seconds. I don't trust the computer. Going in the halftime, up 17-3 on Ball State. All right, computer, can you handle this drive? Got it to a fourth and one. There we go. Got that slant route open. Third and one. Roche again, like, just changing that direction. He's still going, breaking off the tackle. All the way down to the 30-yard line on that read option. A uh, little bit of overthrow there. There we go. Moss, great catch. Good run after catch, too. First down at the 17. Oh, I thought if I threw that early enough. I know it's impossible, but I would love to be able to change his direction. <laughs> I'm like mid-pad. Be like, hey, wait a second. Go on a streak instead. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't realize that safety was staying down. I thought Roche was going to be able to do something with that. Or Roche after the catch. I'm still going to bounce back and forth between the two. 
And Bradbury getting in for his third touchdown of his career. Second catch on the day. But I saw him running up. That guy was backpedaling, expecting it to be a streak. And when he cut inside, that safety was too far back. I had that perfect opening. Alright, that's pretty much going to put the game out of hand for him. As long as the defense can hold. Defense forces him to another three and out. Definitely, uh... Definitely going to start chewing some clock here, I think. Because that is a three-possession lead. It is still a minute left in the third quarter. After a slow start. Alright. Only four on that for Roche, but that's enough for the first down. He's at 90 yards on the ground with the two touchdowns. Okay, 64 got upfield. Did that block exactly why I put him starting at center. And he, he held the ball for half a second. Or held the block, I mean. So... I might already give up on him. Because I know they get penalized for playing out of position, too. Good run there, though. Good run. It, it might be, wor be worth us going back with the 74 overall. And just... Giving up on whatever this guy's name is. Backup halfback out here. Counterplay going for 8 yards. They almost blew up that one, but Roche manages to bounce it outside. Picking up another first down. 108 yards on the day for him. And this run right here should take us right to the two-minute warning. Roche's slippery, man. Like, I, I know it's Ball State, but this is why I want, like, sort of the warm-up game. Wear and tear is starting to make an impact, which I know they modified that with the latest update. But he has been getting the ball a ton. Try to juke these guys out. That's all right. Third and two. They're not even going to try and stop the clock. They know this one's over, too. Pick up the first. His yards per rush is actually starting to drop because we're just running into the line, but that's fine. Oh, ho, 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 got slammed on his back. They have 63 yards today. We're just smoking them on time of possession because we're chewing the clock right now. And this should be it. So, screw it. Let's go deep. Yeah. Oh, we still got two seconds. No. Oh. I thought maybe I could scramble and get Moss open on that one. I just wanted to see if I could add a score. Yeah, we smoked Ball State 24-3 because I took the entire fourth quarter off. Because this episode was starting to run long. Yeah, Bouchon, be out there celebrating because, uh... You might, you might get benched if it goes bad in the next game. Final stats of the day. Vincent goes 15-30 for 138 yards and a touchdown. 50% average because there were some drops in there. I was trying some stuff. Only a 4.6 average because, again, my wide receivers are awful. Rushing Roche. I keep forgetting he's only a 78. And he's only a sophomore. I got him for a few more years. 121 yards on the ground with two touchdowns. Okay. He, yeah. Yeah. I think we might have our answer there for a few years. Russell at 2 for 10. And uh, Vincent at 2 for 20. I don't know. Did he take a sack today? No, he didn't take a sack. Receiving Roche actually led a team 3 with 35. Moss at 3 for 37. Hudson 3 for 20. Bradbury 2 for 22 with the only receiving touchdown. So, I mean, like... Yeah, the fact that our best receiver is a 77 overall who had 1 for 9 with 2 drops. He's big, though, but, like, he, he's just not helping. Abbott with 10 pancakes. Hell of a debut for him, too. Every tackler fits on the screen in one go because they just were three and out over and over and over again. So, Eaglin and Henley led the team with four tackles apiece. Eaglin had three TFLs. He's a cornerback. He had three TFLs. And we had four other TFLs, including Latour with a pick and Nash with a sack. Sure, that makes sense. My 73 overall right end getting a 14 yard return, too. We didn't swat any passes for us, almost nothing like that, but who cares? Absolutely stymied them. And basically, they only got that three points because I had that one broken play they got. All right, good way to start. Let's see if the next game's any tougher. All right, so um, we no longer meet the deal breaker for Amaro because we don't meet his playing style. I'm going to leave him on the board. Because I'm not sure why we don't meet his playing style when we didn't run the ball that much last week. 
I'm not sure what's going on with that. Redick, I, we're probably going to commit him after this week, which is amazing. Burrow, it looks like we're safe for right now. Missouri, we're pulling further away. That doesn't mean anything. Wiley, yeah, we're pulling away with him. Matlock, we jumped up the first place. So we should be able to get our hands on him. Malden, we jumped over Clemson. But Maryland's coming. I see you. Or is that Miami of Ohio? I can't tell the difference between the Maryland and the Miami logo. Hold on. Okay, so it's Miami, Ohio. Maryland's got that little line underneath the M. That's the only reason I can tell the difference. Also, I think they have a yellow outline on it. Um, Middlebrook's big lead. Why am I missing... Is it still chalking me up to having points on Amaro here? Even though we're locked out? Yeah, it is. That's why. Okay, so we're still giving him 50 points even though we're locked out. That's fine. We'll do that. We have seven TFLs. For some reason, both our free safeties are at risk of transfer because of our run stopping. We had seven TFLs. We've oh, oh, because it doesn't take a weekly average. That's the risk of not playing any games the first three weeks. So we should be okay. I'm going to leave them. We are ranked number 24. That's interesting. New Mexico State lost. Kansas wins. UMass wins. Buffalo wins. Buffalo wins even though Ross Roach is gone. Akron is 2-1. and one. UConn is about the same as Ball State, but they're the home team this time. I'm going to... We lost to them last year. I'm going to hope that we get after them. I, again, I don't even care about anything else other than, like, we just got locked out of that left outside linebacker because we didn't have TFLs. We had seven in one game, but it doesn't take a weekly average. So, uh, everything else should be going smoothly. Let's see if we can't get the win here because, um, well, you know, they, I, we might be seeing them next year if we stay in the American and they get promoted up from the basement division. I don't know. Let's try and get this win, though. All right, we got Swarm. We still pick up three on that first down. Big blitz coming, which we... Oh, we missed Kyle. He was so wide open. Now it's going to be third and seven because we were just slightly off. There we go. Slant. Oh, my God. The block coming across there from Moss, too. I'm like, oh, cool. We got the first down. And then Moss popped the safety and was like, no, we're going for more. Roche has kept every read option this season, I'd just like to point out. And he's killing it. I'm not complaining. I just would like to get Vincent going on the ground, too. Bradbury hangs on. He got popped. I thought it was going down for sure. All right. Well, he's got that. Shoot. I got excited for half a second, and then he stopped. But my brain didn't register that he stopped, and I shouldn't hit the button again, and I hit the button again. And we just took a TFL, and I could have been a massive gain there. These, again, Moss is out there blocking his butt off, man. I love my blocking wide receivers. It makes the whole offense click. All the real estate in the world, man. All the real estate. Look at Hudson even out there. Not Hudson. Uh, Bradbury trying to get blocks, too. Ah, they blew that one up. He undercut that one. Okay, third and ten. Not not great. There's no one in the stadium, so I'm not really sweating it. And we hit Moss in stride. I audibled him into a streak or a slant, and then it was all wiggly, and I'm like, oh god, I hope he I hope he remembered where he was going. He did. That ball got there precisely, and we strike on the first drive. I'm gonna just go blitz heavy just to try and get TFLs. I gave up my zone thinking it was a... I was going to help. Well, it's only second and four. They only get six. Is that a TFL? I don't know. Please give us credit for a TFL. I got a four-star linebacker I'd like to sign. Damn it. 
That's the TFL. Don't give up the big play, please. Thank you! And we grab the pick. And I'm gonna run it out. And I shouldn't have run it out. It's okay. I'll take the pick. I can't believe you threw that one, man. Ah, uh, North Texas lost, but it wasn't Kansas. I got greedy. I'm like, is this gonna be a pick six? Can I run it all the way back? 100 yards? No. No. No, okay. I thought Roche... I, he's an elusive back. But in my head, I keep thinking he's receiving back. He is not. Uh, McCollum, go on a slant. Can you not drop a pass if I throw it at you is the question. If this linebacker blitzes, it's all you, bud. He did not. I almost hit a referee in the head. I almost threw a pick. Everyone almost caught the ball except for who I wanted to throw the ball to. Three and out. Missed opportunity. His stat line looks awful, but now they get the ball over midfield. So overall net positive for them. There. Blitz got home. I was <laughs> trying to rack up TFLs. Ooh, good swat. I thought we got burned on that one. They gathered up on the line and then dropped all the way back, leaving that drag route open. I'll take my easy six. Nope. Again. I, that experiment might not... Might, I can't tell if it's not working or if I'm just really noticing it when it doesn't work. For all I know, he's locking down everything while I'm not paying attention. This is a rock fight now. Quick third and five for him here. Drop. Oh, come on. He changed direction. I thought we had him. And then he carried the defense across the line. Like, he ran into a pile, bounced it back outside. Everyone converged, and he still kept going. Give it to him again. He's winded. Oh, crap. Bad angle. Bad angle. Crap. I Whoa, okay. Oh, man, Reagan got juked out of his shoes on that one. I couldn't get off my block. It's missed opportunities, man. It's what, it's what always ends us. Coach, where are my blitzes? There we go. He bounced off me. They missed PAT. So that's a nice little bonus there. Right over that linebacker's head. Bradbury killing it again. Take that read option leading into the two-minute warning. Oh, they got... Okay. I'm not going to blame Bradbury for that one. He got hit. Blitz coming. They left me all this real estate, though. Run out of bounds. There we go. Bradbury's having a day. No, oh, I thought that guy was going to follow Bradbury, and he stayed in his spot. Good zone discipline. I was kind of expecting him to blow it. Okay, I got to... We can't run man coverage. I feel like every time I do, it's a big play. Okay, we just suck in general. <laughs> like, we just... Oh, we're... That's right, like... What did I admit? I didn't go after cornerback. I didn't go after... I missed a lot of very important positions. And we forced that one out. Third and ten. Oh, good. He got him down. All right. That doesn't take their field goal. Three offensive linemen trying to block 44. And they couldn't do it. <sighs> we got absolutely nothing going here. I just kind of... This is called the I don't care play. Just throw it to Bradbury. He catches it. So we're good. I'll take a timeout. Shot, save, clock. I don't have any speedsters as a problem. Oh, Bradbury got popped. If I had put that like a little further out, it would have been good. 
Well, going in the halftime, down 9-7 to uh, UConn. There we go, wrapping up for TFL. I thought he was about to get a big gain on a blitz. I would have been so mad. And down for the sack. Lockett being heard from the first, first time this season. Fourth and 20, and they're going to have to punt it back to us. Jesus Christ, I need some good tight ends. Vincent is ice cold. Yeah, because no one wants to catch the ball. Also, I threw a garbage pick. I thought I was going to scramble that because Roche got caught up on the line, but... By the time he got free, there was no one around him. They gave up. Good setup. That drag route had all day. And Hudson taking that inside the 20. Nope. That guy saw that it's happening all day. I'm going to just take the points. Both teams are having trouble scoring today, so I'm not going to mess around. Except I'm going to miss the kick instead. Because the short kicks, I like the gimmies I struggle with. I gotta start sitting those again. Draw play. I took a bad angle. Thought I had that one. Oh, come on. It's just a Yukon running back. You remember the last Yukon running back who was any good? Donald Brown. Remember him? No. No one remembers Donald Brown. I had to pick between three people. They give me the little cheat sheet now where it's like, here's your zone, and then here's sort of who you should be covering. And it pointed to three different people at one time. Oh my god, he just juked out the entire defense right there. That was pathetic. He dropped it. Okay, you can have the one yard out. And he throws it out. Good job, defense. Someone has to win this game. But I don't know if either one of us want to. Don't touch that ball. You know what I gotta stop doing is pulling out these three tight end sets and trying to pass out of them. Because I don't have a single one who can catch. Pressure got there. And of course I had Kyle wide open, but I don't trust him. She picks up the first, not much more, but that's fine. Now I don't feel so bad for chewing the entire fourth quarter in the last game. Because I'm having to play this entire game. Good block, bounce to the outside. Roche taking it all the way to the 38-yard line on the other side. And now he's hurting, he's grabbing his ribs. He needs a couple plays off here. Good read option that maybe he shouldn't have kept. But that's the damage he's doing with him. Thank you, Kyle, for actually catching that one. Inside the 20. Good blitz. Kyle wide open. There we go. Now I get the tight ends going. Down to the one yard line. Oh, Duo had that delayed handoff. I don't know if I like it. I mean, I got two more cracks at the end zone, but I am going to try and center this ball. I'd rather fail and have that happen. I feel like I should chew the clock. Uh, I'm just afraid of shooting myself in the foot and not giving myself the opportunity, because the defense has been bend, don't break. So it wouldn't surprise me if UConn marched down the field and also scored. But Roche in for the touchdown. All right, we're still on the other side of three minutes. So even if they march out and score, we should have plenty of time left. Oh, 24 got completely burned on that one. All right, back to zone coverage. They can still run the ball here. They got time. Okay, there. Well, now we got to tackle. They only get three. Good breakup on that one. Oh, I don't like this play. Oh, I don't like this play at all. Never mind. I didn't realize I called a blitz. It was third and seven. 
And he holds on. Alright, go ahead, take your three-yard drag. Third and two, but again, they're on the other side of two-minute warning. They're past midfield, so everything is on the table. There could be a draw right here. It was not. It was an option, and he shut off the block, the uh, tackler. Almost had that one. All right. Come on. Come on. I need a pick on that one, go. Like, good defense, I need a pick. God damn it. We just can't play man. Like, every time I play man, they get instant yards right there. First and goal from the five. We might have to start looking at taking timeouts, though. They're not chewing clock, so I'll save my timeouts, I guess. We only need a field goal if they score a touchdown here. Good, good stop, good stop. He throws it out. He almost got sacked right there. Fourth and two. Looks like they're going for the run here. It's probably their best play. Come on! We got, Yeah! Okay, we stopped him. Holy hell. Oh, I read that one perfectly. I'm like, come on, Shane, of all times to not know how to play defense. Now's not the time to screw it up. And they left this wide open. Roche picking up the instant first down. They still got two timeouts, so. They blew us up. Timeout by them. 64 got blown up on another block. They're out of timeouts. It is third and 14. This might be a bad idea. They saw it coming. Oh, we... Damn it. I'm like, well, at least I have the drag route. Nope. So we didn't kill any time. I'm kind of okay with it. Except our punt was terrible, so they're starting off on our side of the field. He holds on, but guess what? Tick, 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 tick. Um, I was playing a QB spy. I don't know what happened there. Good swat by the D-lineman. Damn it. Mm. And they got in for the touchdown. They're going for two... I don't... I think that's game anyway. Like, okay, fine. But we only got 21 seconds, right? Like... Yeah, whatever. I don't trust our offense. We've only put up two touchdowns all day. We left points on the board. I missed that field goal, which is what's going to be the killer. I don't trust anyone running it back deep. Yeah, we were running into the back of that guy the whole time. No separation whatsoever. No. We got nothing, man. Like, we got we got nothing here. I don't know if not shaving the 40 seconds off really killed us. I feel like they would have gone for deeper plays. Like, it obviously looks bad in retrospect. Okay, but no, no, no. McCollum, it is no. You can't have that ball hit you in the hands. Okay. He sucks. He sucks. I might swap him and make him the number four receiver. Well, we still can't overcome UConn. We got some TFL, so hopefully that helps. Um, damn. Yeah, the, like the lack of receiver is just going to kill us. So final stats. Vincent, 13 of 35, 157 yards, one touchdown, and the one pick. Rushing, Roche had 90 yards on the ground with a touchdown. So, I mean, he's doing well. We got that part down, Pat. And Vincent at 3 for 25, so scrambling is working out pretty well, too. Bradbury, 4 for 47, leading the team. Great day for him. Uh, and then Moss had 1 for 13 for the only touchdown. Bradbury actually did have two drops. Hart with a drop, Pfeiffer a drop, so... They're not crediting... I just blanked on his name, the number one receiver with a drop. Even though that ball hit his hands twice at the end there. That's what I mean. Like, it, it's... There's some good spots here now, like, for the future. Like, Bradbury, obviously, elite development trade. So that'll be great, but uh, he's only 69 overall right now. So that's going to be an issue going forward. 
Flo led the way with eight tackles and then six apiece from Eaglin, Nash, and Logan. So that's good. Did you say tentacles? Oh my god. Why are you here? Don't leave your shit where your daughter can get it. There's nowhere where I can leave this Did you say get. tentacles? No, I didn't say tentacles. Oh, okay, fine. Well, we lost the game, but we got 13 TFLs as a team, including one sack. So, I mean, silver lining right there. Hey, the one pick, took it back for 14 yards. Flo swatted four passes. He was having a great day. Eaglin and Nash also getting swats. And no forced fumbles or anything. I want to take a look, though, at kick returns. Bradbury had two for 33, and punt return one for seven. I'm letting him return punts, hoping that, like, more stats, more development. I don't know if it's going to help at all, but I can dream. Well, that sucks. They're up to 3-1 and one in the season now, so UConn might be a division, f or, uh, well, conference foe for us next year. I'm, I'm, just, I'm so mad that we missed a field goal. That's going to be the thing that, like, haunts me, because at least, like, it would have been tied. Maybe I should have gone just to run the ball and kill 40 seconds off the clock. I don't know. Also, that punt sucked, so they started in good field position, so they didn't go, have that far to go. So, yeah, with that knowledge, knowing the punt was bad, probably should have killed the clock. Well, I got no one to blame but myself. But that'll wrap this one up. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm out.